Have you ever used this dating excuse? If he doesn't have the balls to approach me, he's the wrong guy anyway. I'm old fashioned. I don't make the first move. If this is you, then I say you have no idea what old fashioned means. Women have been making the first move for centuries. Let's take the example of Miss Emily Petticoat. 200 years ago, if Emily saw the handsome Mr. Dorchester strolling down the street, she wouldn't sit back and do nothing. No, she'd saunter over to the handsome man, drop her white handkerchief and keep walking. Now, Mr. Dorchester sees this innocent little handkerchief sitting on the ground and says to himself, well, this is an extraordinary opportunity to be a man. He picks up the handkerchief, rushes to Emily and says, excuse me, miss, I believe you dropped this. And she says, did I? And they have a conversation, a conversation that he thinks he started, but he didn't. She chose him. So the question isn't how do I sit back and be old fashioned, nor is it how do I seduce the guy and do all of the work for him? The real question is, in the modern era, how do I drop the handkerchief? I'll show you. Let's say you're out with your friends and you spot a hot guy standing at the bar. You walk over to order a round for your friends, you set your jacket down, and when the barman gives you your drinks, you grab them and you say to this gentleman, I could really use your help with something. Could you watch my jacket for two seconds while I give these to my friends? Him being a guy, enjoying this moment of being the knight in shining armor, will think to himself, I sure can, my lady. I will watch the hell out of this jacket. You take your drinks to your friends. You come back moments later, look at him and say, thank you so much, you're a gentleman. How's your night going anyway? All of a sudden, you're in a conversation with a guy where you initiated, you chose him, and yet he feels like he's the one who's done the work. High value women have always known the secret to choosing the guy they want while still allowing a part of him to feel like it was his idea. Now you know this secret too. So my challenge to you today is to go out there and drop the handkerchief. All right. Well, it's not quite as effective as a mic drop, but they'll get it, right? You get it. If you like this concept and you want more ways to drop the handkerchief, download my free guide that gives you five compliments you can say to make him melt. Thanks for watching and download the guide right now.